Hey, this is D-Revolution. Uh, this is a spoken word video to all you poetry lovers out there, you spoken word artists. Now, I've been giving some tips on spoken word. I need you guys to like and subscribe to my page. I am a award-winning poet. I won Poet of the Year in 2007. I've released three poetry CDs, and I've done very well being a performance poet. So, please like and subscribe to my page. So basically, this this is the issue that I had with being you know being on the, on the circuit, you know, doing spoken word. There's a lot of politics that plays a part in spoken word and really trying to build your name and things like that. So the advice that I always try to give to the younger generation of poets is that do your homework. Understand the spoken word in your city. Understand spoken word who's who came before you and and really be willing to sit down and do the work to put yourself ahead of the game. Again, I repeat again, it's not just about time. It's how you work the system of spoken word, the circuit. It's about what you know and what you need to do and not trying to find a quick way to just be the top poet. It takes work. I mean, to really be the top poet, you have to put in the work. Nobody's going to put you up top just because you want to be. You have to really put in work, hustle, you know, and, and respect the grind and respect others that grind and support others. There's a lot of elements that goes into being the top poet. It's not, you know, think about it. When you think about somebody who, who they may celebrate, let's just say Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was a great fighter, but he's more celebrated because of the work he put in all out of the ring. People respect that. So it's the same thing as a poet. When you put when you put in work, make sure you study the crap and study those, you know, who were before you. And if you can, go look them up, see how they perform, and, and really try to learn the crap. But by any means, try not to be more than what you really are. Respect where you are and rise to the top. Um, and, and I say that because I, I've mentored a few poets myself, and the one thing is that um, this is this is what I used to tell poets who wanted to bring out a poetry CD and things like that. Before you bring out a poetry CD, and I used to tell my fellow poets this all the time, why are you bringing out a CD? Like, if nobody knows who you are, your CD is not going to sell in my opinion. So, I would suggest that when a poet, poet decides to put together a poetry CD, it's only when people start to ask you, do you have a CD that they can buy? Then that kind of tells you, well, I need to go record something because this is what you know people are wanting that from me. But if nobody's asking you, if nobody's asking you, uh, do you have a CD or can, can they take you home with them? They, you know, do you have this poem on where they can go listen to it? Or if nobody's really asking you that yet, you have not put in enough work yet. You have not made much of a name of yourself yet to really sell that CD or really get a whole movement behind that CD. When, when the crowd is always going to let you know what they think about you and what they want. And so you won't waste money and time. You should wait for that moment. When, you know, and, and not just one, but maybe two people, you know, say, hey, do you have a CD? Do you have a way I can go download loads of stuff or whatever? And then they kind of let you know where you are in popularity as a spoken word artist. And I would strongly suggest any poet wait on that moment before you, before you release uh, a CD or maybe even a book. You know, well, maybe a book is not quite the same as a CD, but... I just think that when you have the public asking for it, you know, because the thing is you're going to have all this stuff, book CDs, and nobody's going to buy it. It's going to sit there. So you want to definitely make sure you release these things when it's time. Make sure you study your craft. Make sure you like and subscribe to this page. Make sure you leave a comment. I do one-on-one -on -one mentorship with, with poets and writers. Comment and like my page. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for listening. I'm D-Revolution.